it's like the the early days of tech, and, and Jay can really talk to this in his work too. I'll just say, like, I got a lot of misfits, a lot of people who just really wanted to push against the boundaries of what was considered normal, what was considered like, you know, kind of possible. And if you're doing startups, that's also like a lot of your thinking process. Like any sort of revolutionary kind of movement, eventually it gets popularized. You have this sort of gentrification of that space. And now we have tech bros and people do startups and they have like portfolios of in Silicon Valley. There's this thing where no engineer was expected to stay anywhere more than 18 months because then they invest a year. It takes six months chilling and trying to find the next thing and then gets the next thing. And then they have, after four years or five years, six years, they have a portfolio of different companies. So if one of them worked, they made it. And if not, then yeah, it's okay. They, but they weren't locked in. This idea of sort of trading off your experience like that was just anathema to people who started things and really cared about them. Um, and loyalty in startups was, a, was much stronger in early days. Yeah, the, the crypto punk kind of talk is... Is really a play on the, the popular, well, the very, the very earliest punk uh, NFTs and the crypto punk NFT. What I'm truly trying to say in this talk is, again, what I was saying is trying to think more radically, trying to think in a more fundamental way about what your beliefs are about the work that you're doing. And I don't mind if you just did it for the money, great, go for it. But if you're building things, um, most likely the thing that gets you out of bed is some excitement about what it is. And I think that focusing on systems that are fundamentally uh, you know, more decentralized than the things that we've built in the past is an important distinction. And being more radical in the way that we think about things, so t- taking taking more risks, and I don't mean more risks like trying to bend regulations or trying to you know, kind of buy Bitcoin at 69K. It's like, this is like the risks where you're thinking through, like, what could I do that would actually disrupt something significant and may take me longer than six to nine months to, to launch a token and, and make a bunch of money. But what can I do that's going to really try and change uh, an industry or to create a new kind of behavior? 